to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us, one big family, by hitting that subscription button. I also like to mention that I do have a private crochet group. If you're interested to join us, one big family, you're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. Um, I do have a crochet page. You can follow me through there or Instagram or TikTok. All of these links will be listed below in the description box. And uh, you can take it by there. Thank you so much for the women that's been helping. Women in need of thread. God bless you a million times more. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. For others that are considering to help out, you could either give it into the super thanks, super chat on below the video. There's a little bag and dollar sign. Just a reminder that YouTube takes 30% off of whatever you're, you're donating. I will also leave my PayPal account below. At least they won't take no percentage off, right? So thank you so much. Uh, for the most times, uh, I use 2.75 hook, sometimes 3, 3.5, depending upon the pattern that I'm creating. A small hook to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're going to do a round, uh, small doily, pineapple doily. And I'm using a four ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. My thread's a little bit thinner, so obviously my patterns are a little bit smaller than Aunt Lydia number three. Cotton thread, a pair of scissors, 2.75 hook, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. So remembering that if your tension is too tight, then always give an extra stitch. If it's too loose, then cut down a stitch, and also use a hook or two bigger if your tension's tight and if your tension's looser then use a hook a size uh, one size or two smaller to tighten up your pattern let's get started please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important thank you i'm going to use this terracotta light khaki mustery so I usually when I have quite a bit of uh, threads left over from different projects, I'll just put them all together and put it to use to make samples for tutorials. So this will work. We're going to do the magic circle. If you can't still do the magic circle, then you can do a five to a six chain, depending up on your tension. We don't want a big hole, so make sure that you leave a smaller hole there. So I did a slip stitch and I came back in with a single. I'm going to create my first double crochet. So now I have single, two chain. That's my first double crochet. Inside of this magic circle, I'm going to have a total of 16 double crochet. That's included with my first single and two chain. I've pulled on my magic circle, so as you can see, a smaller hole, so make sure that you don't make like a huge chain if you're doing the chain, okay? So I've closed in on my second chain because I started with a single two chain with a slip stitch. I'm going to do chain three, next space, one double crochet. I'm going to do one, two, three chain, next space double crochet and next space double crochet so I'm building groups of two double crochet and chain three next space double crochet and again now this is perfect of course on any color that you use but remember when you're doing these type of doilies it's also perfect to use them for Christmas by using the the Christmas colors, you know, the reds, the greens, the the golds. So one double crochet, next space another double crochet, and chain three until we get to the end. So I did my last three chain, closed in on the sec on my third chain because I did chain three going up. We have eight groups of two double crochet separated by three chain we're going to go into the center of the three chain with a single 
two chain. We're going to do shells of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. We're going to do this on row three. This is row three. So row two is the eight groups. I'm going to build these shells all the way around, going directly into the next space and create your shells of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of row three. Okay everyone, so I've closed in on my second chain from the single and two chain I went up with a slip stitch. We're going to work on the second double crochet now. We're not going to work the first nor the last double crochet. So single, two chain. We're going to start to do the increase here on the shells. We're going to have, um, and I made a mistake. I put two together, not two together. So on the second of a crochet, then on the next one and two inside. We're going to have four double crochets all together on this shell, on this row, uh, four, two chain space, and again, two more double crochet, one on top of the double crochet from the previous row and next space. So we're not working the first nor the last, going directly into the second double crochet and creating double crochet over double crochet, two inside of the two chain space, two chain, and two more double crochet again, one per stitch and not working the last double crochet. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, so I've closed in with a slip stitch. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to, I call it the walk. We're going to walk over to the next double crochet with a single two chain. This time we're going to have five double crochets on this uh, shell. So we have three two more inside, two chain, two more inside, one per space, one per stitch, and not working the last one either. Okay, so two, four, five, two, four, five. We don't work the first one, we don't work the last one. One chain space, and into the second double crochet. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finish row four, going to row five. I've closed in with a slip stitch. I'm doing the walk to the next double crochet with a single, two chain. Next space. This time we're going to change a bit. So we're going to do only four double crochets. Skip the first one. We're not doing the first nor the last. We do four double crochets. Chain two. I'm coming in the center of my two chain with a single. Chain two again. Skip the first into the second and do my four double crochets again. This is how we're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain one. And then again repeat the same thing as we just did. The four double crochets. Skipping the first double crochet, of course. Two chain 
into the center of the two chain with a single. Skip the first one. Mm, sorry, skip the last one, not the first one. First one is at the beginning, I'm sorry. So we're going to repeat this this way all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finish row six going to row seven. We're going to skip that first one again. Single, two chain. My first double crochet. So now we're going to do three double crochets. Chain two. Coming where we have the single here on the center, we're going to do a V, double crochet, one, two, three chain, and another double crochet on the same single chain two, and again, proceed with three double crochet. And I missed one here. So this is simple to do. When you miss a double crochet like I did in this case, I'm just going to come in right below. I did a triple, by the way. Turn twice on your hook. Take out once. I'm going to come up top and finish my third double crochet. Let's retry that again. Okay, so turn twice on your hook, come from behind into the same last one there, take out only once, and now you come into the center and complete your double crochet. So basically you'll have your four below if you forget. This is good especially for beginners. Chain one skip the first and do your three double crochets and repeat everything again chain two in the single do your V and three chain one two three and again double crochet so two double crochets for your V on the same single one two chain and do your three double crochets Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, going into row eight. So I'm going into the next one. So we're skipping still that first double crochet and the last. I'm going to do my single two chain. Next, my double crochet. One, two, three chain. Coming inside of the V, I'm going to do seven double crochets and one chain space between them. my two double crochets, skipping the first one, doing the last two, three chain, double crochet inside of my V, one chain space, seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain three, and again doing the two double crochets. So this is my foundation for my pineapples, one chain space, and proceed the same way again going to do this all the way around. So just a repeat and I'll meet you at the end. Okay you guys, so <clears throat> I've closed in. I'm going to change color. I'm going to use this multicolored. Uh, it's got the baby yellow and the same color pretty much as the, this mustery. Okay. I'm still going to come in 
on those two double crochets and we're still going to do two double crochets. Single, if you're changing colors of course, if not then you would just do your double crochet and double crochet again. Try to hide this leftover thread here. One, two, three chain. If your tension is too loose, then do only a two chain. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do two half double crochets and then close it at once. One chain space. one chain space. So we're doing the incomplete double crochet. One chain space, two and complete, so it's like half. One chain space, so we're pretty much doing a pineapple. Just a little bit different than your regular three chain that we do for pineapples. I think it gives it a whole different dimension on the pattern three chain coming into the double crochets and create your two double crochets. One chain space and repeat the process as we just finished doing your two double crochets so you know there's still that one chain space between them. Okay and I'll meet you at the end everyone so we just completed row nine I'm gonna go up actually close in with the slip stitch I'm gonna do a single into chain again repeating the two double crochets as we've been having it's going to change a bit though when we get to the next one chain three and we're going to repeat the two incomplete double crochet so now we're decreasing on the pineapples so we're coming in in that one chain space and doing the two incomplete and again one chain and proceed again the same way so we start one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we should have five. Like I said, it's a small doily. It's not like a table centerpiece. Okay. One, two, three. Continue with the two double crochets. one chain. We're coming in the center between the two double crochet groups and doing one double crochet, one chain again and coming and create the two double crochets again. One, two, three chain. Continue and proceed the same way all the way around the two and complete one chain space into the next one chain space and create your two and complete double crochet. So don't forget here we have two double crochet one chain one double crochet in the center and two double crochet. Okay I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone so we finished row 10 We're continuing the two double crochets on the same space until the end. So I did a single two chain for my first double crochet and another double crochet. It's just going to change here. We're going to have to keep increasing here because the pattern, the pineapples are closing in. Three chain and continue to do your incomplete double crochets. One chain space.
So everything else stays the same. It's just the increase here on the... So now we have four on the pineapple four groups. One, two, three. Doing the two double crochet stays the same. It will stay the same until the end of the pattern. One chain. We need to increase here. So I'm coming in the first space. One double crochet. One chain coming in the second space. And another double crochet. One chain. And create your two double crochets. And chain three. One, two, three. And continue with the incomplete double crochet. It has to increase here because the pineapple are going to start closing in. So it will pull on the pattern if we don't increase on this one here. We have to. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. So we just finished doing row 11 and we're going to repeat exactly the same thing as we did. We're going to continue the increase of one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, one chain. The two double crochet stays the same. So we're just going to repeat only doing the increase here. So two double crochets, that all stays the same. Three chain, continue your You're decreasing on the pineapples. One chain space. Three chain, doing your two double crochet. One chain coming in the first space, one double crochet. So we're increasing in here. Second space, one double crochet. Third space, one double crochet. One chain space between them. And your two last double crochets. So now we have one, two, three double crochets, space of one chain between them. Two at the beginning and two double crochets at the end. So it's just a repeat now. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay everyone, so we finished row 12, going to row 13. We're going to have an increase here on this motive. So we're going to continue to do the normal, the two double crochets, single two chain, another double crochet, three chain, coming in doing our incomplete double crochet, so now we're going to have two groups left. Three chain, doing the double crochet over double crochet. Again, next double crochet, one chain. In the first space we're doing one double crochet, one chain, and in the second space, one double crochet, one chain. On top of this double crochet, we're going to create a V. So double crochet, one chain, coming back in top of that double crochet with another double crochet. One chain space, coming in the next space. That's our increase, okay? One chain, and on the last space again, one chain. Uh, one double crochet, one chain, and do your two double crochets. Okay, that's the only uh, difference here. So two double crochet, one chain, one double crochet on the first space, one chain, one double crochet on the second space, one chain, and on top of the double crochet, we're doing the V. Double crochet, one chain, and double crochet again. One chain space, into the next one, double crochet, one chain, into the next one, double crochet, one chain, and create your two double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Everything else is the same. Okay, everyone going into row 14, we're going to continue the same way. The only difference is inside of the V, we're going to have again another V, so that's our increase, okay? 
So we're going to continue to do the normal double crochets, two double crochets, chain three. Our last group of the incomplete double crochet, chain three, our two double crochets, one chain into the first space, one chain into the second, one chain into the third, one chain into the V and create your V inside of the V. So one double crochet, one chain, and another double crochet in the same uh, space. One chain, next space. So that's the only difference on this row. Everything else stays the same. And create your two double crochets and repeat everything, chain three and so on. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into the last row, row 15, the first double crochet. This time we're going to do triple. Okay, actually I'm going to do one more here. So single three chain triple. We're going to do incomplete. We're going to close it on both. No, sorry. We have to roll twice on our hook. Okay, so you take Okay, so you take out twice. Let's redo that because sometimes I just get carried away. Okay? Turn twice. Take out once, take out twice. Turn twice. Come back in the next one. Take out once, take out twice. And again, take out once, take out twice. Now we're going to take it all together. Okay, so we've closed all together. I'm going to do one, two, three, chain. And I'm going to come on this uh, first one here and do my peacock. Okay, so after our peacock, we're going to do chain three. One, two, three. It's the same thing as we've been doing basically on here. We're going to come on the first space and do a double crochet. So we can have that peacock in the center. One, two, three, peacock. One chain space into the next one. So it's just one double crochet. One, Peacot, three chain, one chain into the next one, one, two, three, one chain, and continue on. Okay, everyone, so we have eight peacots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On your last double crochet, we're not doing peacock. We're going to do um, chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to come inside where the two double crochets are. We're going to do the triple again, okay? So turn twice. Take out once, take out twice. Again on the next one. Take out once, take out twice and directly into the next one. Take out once, take out twice. The same thing on the last double crochet so we can attach it all together. So these are the end complete and close it all together. Okay? And then do your one, two, three for the peacock. And then we're just going to repeat chain three, one, two, three, and continue on again on the first space with your double crochet, your peacocks. So we're not doing the last, um, on the last one there's no peacock, so only eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, and do one double crochet with three chain, incomplete, triple, incomplete, triple again, and then directly into the next one and then do close it all together. Your peacock chain three and then continue on. So I'll leave the measurements below in the description box. It's a small doily. It's perfect for any small area that you would like. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And I will see you in the next video. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.